Yes, it is Dirty Deeds, and those are done dirt cheap. And since we went through her long-standing rival, Samantha Morgan's Dirty Deeds, it's only fair to discuss those of the supposedly sainted Elizabeth Weber. Now, with them all laid out, some of the newer viewers might see why some of us don't think Liz is so saintly. And... Since we have known Liz since she was just a teenager, I've created a new segment for our juvenile delinquents called Kidding Around. Now, Liz busted on the scene as Audrey Hardy's youngest granddaughter and sister to the Liz of her day, Sarah Weber. Her first rush with delinquency was when she stole her grandmother's car and drove it without a license. She later accidentally stabbed Lucky Spencer and then immediately developed a crush on him that resulted in several small infractions to get his attention, like stealing an invitation to Brenda and Sonny's wedding that was meant for Ruby Anderson, and then she stole Sarah's lucky pin, planted it in the teacher's lounge, where she then had stolen test answers to frame her sister by putting it in her backpack. She also put condoms in Nicholas Cassidine's sweater so that Sarah would find them and break up with him. See, Liz Lucky Nicholas has been going on for a long time. Oh, but I will give Liz some credit. At least she's never killed anyone, unless you count the medical mistake that resulted in Siobhan McKenna's death. So her hits and misses segment is just a compilation of cat fights and slaps that are a little more 90210 than Dynasty. Liz's first documented slap as an adult was none other than Kung Fu Barbie herself, Courtney Matthews. And that wasn't even the only slap to Courtney. Then her blonde bitch slaps continued with Maxie Jones and strangely never included Carly. I guess it's because Carly fights back. <laughs> In fact, only a few of Liz's slaps actually resulted in full-on cat fights, and those were with Sam and Britt. Even Liz's more recent slap bees, Hayden didn't fight back with her hand, but did not hesitate to mince words with the mother of three bastards with different baby daddies. Her words, not mine. <laughs> And of course, that brings me to my next new segment cre I created called A is for Adultery. Just for Liz, since most of her crimes are not that of a legal nature, but that of a lying hypocritical, hypocritical hoe nature. Again, their words, not mine. Liz first started her extramarital affair tradition with sleeping with Xander Smith, her best, friend's em best friend Emily's first love, while she was married to Rick Lansing. This, of course, resulted in Liz getting knocked up for the first time with Cameron. And then we have her with an affair with Jason while married to Lucky, her supposed love of her life, that resulted in a pregnancy and creepy little Jake. Liz should really use protection when she decides to sleep outside the marital bed, but then again, at that time, they couldn't think of any storylines for Liz that didn't involve babies. But Liz finished her trifecta of affairs resulting in bastards with Nicholas Cassidine's fiance, or Nicholas Cassidine, her brother, it, Nicholas Cassidine, Lucky's half brother, who was then her fiance. See, it's that convoluted, I can't even get it out. And again, Nicholas was the love of her best friend Emily's life. But Emily was dead at the time. <laughs> This time, she had miscalculated, and Aiden actually turned out to be Lucky's, but she did at least believe he was Nick's for a while, thanks to Helena. But speaking of switch DNA results, I guess it's time for Liz's actual misdemeanors. That basically sums up Liz's crimes. They either involve the switching of DNA results, like she did with Danny Morgan, to show that he wasn't Sam's, or lying for the men that she has loved and lost, like Jason and Lucky. She has lied for the both of them when it comes to the law on several occasions, and of course there is that big lie that everyone but Hayden seems to forget, that, oh, I don't know, that Jake Doe was actually Jason Morgan for like nearly a year, but yeah, that's totally cool since she was just going to commit bigamy with Jason since he was already married to Sam. She also technically tried to push Sam into committing bigamy as well, since she cheered on her marriage to Patrick. Then, of course, there was that whole covering up Nick shooting Hayden thing. <sighs> well, I guess that is it for Elizabeth Weber's dirty deeds. If the residents of Port Charles weren't going to do it, I thought I'd at least give it a shot. 
Be sure to follow me on social media at Lucretia Lyon and watch the GH Report every Sunday here right here at AfterBuzz TV at 5.30 p.m. PST.